Hello, Tank is this man, and welcome back to Small World of Tanks console. And welcome back to another comic game. Sorry, uh, another comic game so soon. I just had to show this one. This is the exact reason why I still play this game, even though sometimes I feel like I don't want to anymore. Uh, I don't play perfectly, but it's fun, and that's why I play play this game. It's just fun. Uh, able to play different tanks and do different things, and use your skills to be able to beat people basically isn't it that's why you play a multiplayer game you want to be better than people anyway it doesn't all go my way uh, I start off the game um, spotting early on doing some damage and it's looking like we can have an easy win but then it all goes wrong and literally have to dig in and try my hardest just to be able to pull out a win anyway so I won't give away too much but uh, just making the most of the comet here uh, my crew skills set up, my equipment, I've got plenty of U range, camo skills. I've had the Comet back for a while now, got it to 100% MOE. Don't know, I've not checked lately if I'm still 100%. I know some of you else, when I posted that video, semi got to 100% said you were as well. So I don't know if console works the same as PC. I'm pretty sure PC, there is literally only one person who's 100%. Uh, might not be the same on console they do tend to dull things down a little bit uh, make it a little bit more accessible for everybody anyway so again just work in the comets view range uh, rate of fire accuracy stuff like that to be able to put some shots down the range it's a tier 8 game um, tier 7 medium tank and interestingly as well though the comet gets matched as a heavy tank it's, I think it's the only tank in the game uh, only tank that isn't a heavy tank but gets matched in the matchmaker as a heavy tank. Don't ask me why, because I really don't know, because the Comet is more of a medium tank than most of the tier 7 mediums, so why it would be matched as a heavy? No idea. Right, so there's an AT-15 there, not going to have much luck against him from the front. So I track the KV-3, switch to my swindle rounds. Hope you don't mind me calling them them, buddy. Um, I'm sure you'll approve. Anyway, so look at this rate of fire. Doesn't hit very hard. That was a pretty good roll for a comet actually. 160, 148. Bounce, typically a kill shot bounces. Boom, 110, he is down. So that's that KV3 out of the way. We've got this Jackson pinned in. No, I've still not been spotted. Even though they're in still within my um, blue detection circle, their view ranges must be. Well, especially the Jackson there, he's probably running binos. So when he's moving out of his position, they're not deployed so he doesn't have the view range to spot me anyway so the game's developing we're slowly losing the town there's a mutant in there doing the business for the enemy team there's also a father land in there as well I think very tricky tank for a comet to deal with especially frontally anyway so I had enough of that spot that Jackson is obviously got six cents and he's not going to fall for any of my shenanigans anymore Anyway, there we go. See, as soon as he gets spotted, he pulls back. Definitely got six cents. That's not going to work. Right. Oh, crap. I got spotted for the first time in a really dodgy position. So I get out now. We're looking at team scores. Now, we're actually winning at the minute, but look where all my TDs are. Up in those buildings is not actually that bad a spot for later on in the game. They weren't particularly helpful at start. But what these guys are doing down in the ditch here, no idea. Anyway, so time to just to let the game develop a little bit more. Where I am now is very, very good for getting side shots for when the enemy team get very confident and they start pushing down that flank. Especially with a good tank with good camo. Anyway, so look at how quickly the team scores have turned around. We're now losing by three tanks. They've completely won the town. It's just a good job I pushed out of that position because they would have side shotted me. Borsig's push in the middle. Not much for me to do at the minute. Right, here comes a T29. Get one in. He immediately pulls back. And I don't aim that. Give that quite enough lead to get a second shot in. Anyway. So that T29 knows somebody is getting side shot. So he's not going to do that again. Just holding my position. Right, there's that fatherland. Full health. Tier 8 heavy tank. I'm still on my swindle rounds. Still three tanks behind, no four tanks behind. No, we pull one back, so we're three tanks behind again. Right, Fatherland pushes through. Right, 
Borsig is pushing. And he's also backed up by Carnarvon behind him, so this is not looking good. Right, the Borsig, there he is. He looks like he's got the big gun. Don't want to hang around. My rounds seem to be derping. Don't want to get hit by that gun. But my team are doing the business. This is the thing, see? When teams are winning so badly, uh, they tend to get overconfident and overextend and expose themselves to whatever people are still sat around in the back of the map like all these TDs. There we go, two quick kills and we're starting to pull the numbers back. So I relocate now. We need to keep this going. I'm going to go and have a pop of that T29. There he is. Catches me out a little bit. Um, he was already facing me. My uh, auto-aim pro sniping skills are not working very well. So now I just push in. I YOLO. I've got the DPM over this guy. So now he's got a choice of coming down here to play with me. Or sitting up the top and getting hit by the TDs. And he chooses death by TD. No, he's not quite done. Should have aimed that shot. And he makes me burn my repair kit. Boom, TDs do the business. Nice shot from the charioteer there. And we've almost did well. We have evened up. No, there goes another one. Right. But we're only one tank behind. Right, so my choice now. If you see where all my team are, they're all camping. And what's the biggest thing that gets campers killed at the end of a game? And gives the red squares a nice damage score. Yeah. Artillery. No, we've pulled the numbers back, so if I can get this artillery dealt with, that will help out my campers to do what they need to do. So I'm going to use my mobility, push down there, try and find him. I was hoping to find him here, but I didn't. So he's bound to be down in that back corner behind the road. We're being capped. Not a big problem yet. There he is. Right, so I make a mistake here. I stop to aim in. And just as I crest on the right-hand side there, I get spotted. If I'd have stuck on the road, I may have stayed low enough to sneak in without getting spotted. Anyway, so six sensors on. He knows which way I'm going. And then I change my direction. Pop over. He's not ready for it. But I hit the side. I slow down just a little bit. And he turns his gun and he derps me for about half the health I had left. And crucially here, I don't care about the hit points I lost, but I lost my driver. Right, look at this, look how slow I am now. So I'm pushing back over. And I'll make a big mistake here. Right, so I spot the two TDs in the middle. Right, don't fire, don't fire. I'm trying to reverse up before getting spotted. Should have gone into that bush. I'm trying to get behind the berm. Team are doing the business, but they're pushing down here for some reason. Here comes the Jackson. And I stop. Another big mistake. Got to fire at the T25-2. Set him on fire. He goes down. Get one into the Jackson. He stops Dwayne. This is going to be it. Get one more in. Just didn't quite roll high enough to kill him. But did I do enough? Right, so here's our T25-2. He's against the fatherland. I really didn't have much... Uh, yeah. AT-15, full health. He's trundled out of where he needed to be. And he's making his way to the cap. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Well done. Right, back to this guy. Very important. So we've got an artillery and a T25-2 versus a tier 8 fatherland. And at this point, artillery misses. I was like, ah, oh, this game's done. But he hits him and set him on fire. And he's burning. It's ticking down. And the speed those numbers dropped, I was like, oh, cool, he's going to burn out. No, he doesn't quite burn out. But the fatherland makes a big mistake here. He stops to aim at the artillery, who misses by miles again. Gives the T25-2. A nice side shot there. And this guy back on to uh, go to cap. Okay. Jackson takes out the artillery. Right, can that T25 2 do it? Got great faith in him. Absolutely no faith in the AT15. Right, so he's got 472 hit points. Jackson's got the 90mm by the looks of it. So he can take one hit. So he can take his sweet time about this. Don't screw it up, buddy.
All right, there he is. Takes a 240 shot in the side. Definitely in a 90, but a T25 2 does it. And at that point, I was just, I'd gone from thinking it was all over um, to actually being quite thankful for one of the green players for a change. Anyway, so I lost some credits because I used some of those nice APCR rounds on the Comet there. 3,000 damage, 1,300 assist. Three kills. Only a mastery one this time. Uh, still got my three marks and a sniper. All right, there we go, guys. <laughs> game I had in the Comet there, where I thought it was going to go the wrong way, but we just stuck to it and uh, managed to carry those tier 8s there. Anyway, cheers guys, I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.